what I'm talking about. We have to let we have to let the rest of the country know that Pride Bermuda is in the house, that we are celebrating Pride, that we are here. And despite everything that they've tried to do to us, we didn't fold up and go away. But it wasn't easy. I want to take a few minutes and tell you about what it means to be out. What it means to be brave enough to show up. Because I don't think that we understand all the time the bravery it takes to show up and acknowledge who you are for yourself and not give a flying. Okay, I'm sorry, this is a PG session. But sometimes you have to show up in a way that makes people feel uncomfortable. Sometimes you have to show up in a way that makes your family feel uncomfortable. Sometimes you have to show up in a way that makes your co-workers feel uncomfortable. uncomfortable. We had to do the internal work to be able to show up for ourselves. And that is why pride is so important. Because there are young people behind us looking for persons to show up and stand up. It is not good enough anymore to tiptoe around people's sexuality. I remember some of the comments that were made when we start talking about marriage equality. People start talking about how the volcano was going to open up and swallow us up. People start talking about the moral fiber of Bermuda was going to deteriorate. Like sexuality can deteriorate the moral fiber of this country. Like all of the little secrets that we have hasn't done that already. But the LGBT community always somehow seems to get blamed for the moral fiber of this country. And I'm here to say that it is time that we have real conversations about what love looks like. See, when we talk and, and your friends and your family and your co-workers and your government officials talk about love and your pastors talk about love I want them to stop talking about it and start showing it for people that need to feel that they belong in their country And somebody please tell the government stop wasting our taxpayers' money. Stop wasting taxpayers' money to keep a right from citizens who have a right to marry who they want to marry. And for all of you who don't like gay marriage, don't marry a gay person.